Yo, it's your boy Trevor David Jones, back up at it. And this is why we watch My Hero. This is another episode that shows why we watch My Hero. Season 6, episode 17, The Wrong Way to Put Out a Fire. Let's jump right in. The positives. Ray, she woke up. So she's been laid out for a long time. Uh, you know, the shock of living with Endeavor hospitalized her. But when they showed up in the hospital, Ray was there. I was like, yo, she's walking? She's talking? Like, yeah, man, she's back. Uh, <laughs> times done got dire, so she had to get up. That's crazy, man. She's been out the game for a hot minute in a stupor. Woke up. Crazy plot element. Glad to see her moving around. Endeavor. The number one hero. Endeavor's a monster, man. He really is. He really is. He's got to get it together. Obviously, he's a hero, so there's some sort of spark of good inside him. There's something causing him to, like, want to help people. But on, like, a personal level, man, that man's psycho. Psychotic. They show, and that's why I like this episode, because they snuck something else in there. The wrong way to put out a fire. There's no real way to know what exactly it's about just by the title. So they show Dobby's history, like his, his childhood upbringing. I did not expect that. So, like, man. That just took the episode, I almost give it a 5 out of 5 just off of that. Because I didn't expect that. Like, who did? And it, it was crazy, which we'll get into in a second. But, uh, yeah, yeah. The, Endeavor's past obviously leads directly into Dobby's history. It is Dobby's history. And he went for that quirk marriage, man. Like a legit quirk marriage. Um, That's messed up. Uh, and later, once he had his first baby, Dobby, the doctor told him, man, if you're trying to do a quirk union, you need to chill with this right now. Like, this ain't, this ain't the move. And just seeing him sitting in that room talking to, uh, to Ray's father back when they were both, like, you know, young. It was just like, man, what is going through this dude's head? Um, all might drove him insane, like, or maybe he was already like that. But yeah, Endeavor, he actually is a monster. So, again, Dobby's history. That was a surprise element in this episode, like... I did not expect that at all. And it leads into the last episode, The Hellish Todoroki Family Part 2. You think it's going to be all about the Todoroki family? A good part of it was. It told Hawks' history. Like, out of nowhere. That made it an insane episode. It was like, just like the depth, seeing it, you know, seeing him grow up and so on and so forth. It was crazy. So they snuck in Dobby's history into this episode. And it was, it was scary. But it was so well done. Like, so, this show is on another level. I've been trying to tell people. That's what these reviews are about. The show's on another level. Watch this show. So yeah, Dobby's history. Super crazy. Um, one of the standout moments or very interesting moments in his history was actually when uh, Todoroki, when Shoto was born and he was sleeping and like snoozing and there was like an ice bubble, you know, coming out of when he was snoring. It was like a, you would be like a snot bubble that had the ice crystals on it. I had to pause the episode. I was like, the attention to detail in the show is just, it's superlative. Like it's just somewhere else. Just to, like, put that in there. Like I said, I paused it. I was like, okay, they're on something else. Like, that's deep in the game. I really appreciated that. And, I mean, it's just it's just things like that that make this show so awesome. But, yes, the ice bubble, super cool. So, uh, the, the, the Dobby part of the episode kind of concluded when it showed everything that led up to Dobby being himself and then the full birth of Dobby. When he uh, hit puberty, his flames turned blue. So he'd been practicing out in the forest, and one last time he went to Endeavor for some reason. But kids, that's a whole different story. So he went to his dad, and he was like, yo, you know, recognize me. Obviously, he didn't. He didn't. I mean, it's not, that's not going to happen. And that's when he snapped. He just snapped. He went to the forest, had the blue flames, which are hotter and more powerful than Endeavor's, apparently, and just burned the forest down and burned himself up, too. Um, when he was, like, a kid, I thought it happened like he was an adult. He was, like, 13. So he was on the lam. He was like, you know, rolling with the gangsters, the criminal squad for a hot minute. Because when we see Dobby now, he's an adult. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's grown. So, yeah, man, that was the, they told the origin of Dobby. Snuck it into the episode, but it was sick. It was, man, they just know what they're doing with the show. So well done. I mean, it was, it was amazing. Super dope. So, at, this leads us to, um, to the present which is why they're there, the whole family of Endeavor, the Todoroki family, to confront him and be like, yo. Because Shoto was going to take up the man and be like, dad can't do it. I got to fight. Uh, I got to fight Toya. I got to fight Dobby. They're like, yo, you need to get up and you're going to fight. You're going to fight Dobby. You can't run from this. You ran from everything your whole life. So now it's time. So that family moment, 
just like the the tension the the feeling of it super crazy it was great hawks and bestel genus though show up and of course bestel genus though he's got the jokes and hawks this is where the episode this is where the episode goes into why i gave it the rating that i'm about to get it so hawks is talking and like his wings start moving so his shows are growing back he knew they would grow back and in, in the moment like he's getting his powers back that's dope um so they're talking. What made this episode, what, what made it what it is, is when Hawks looks at Endeavor and he goes, what is one for all? I literally just about lost my mind. Lost it. Lost it. This show is on something else. You can't teach someone to write something like that. You just have to know how to do that. The thing about it, we're looking at the show from the outsider perspective, but we have the inside track. Like we know all the secrets. We know as many secrets as the main characters know, we know. So we know exactly what One for All is. The world doesn't know what that is. It's a secret to them. We know that from, you know, from All Might. Um, so it's like to see that it's finally coming out and he says, what is One for All? Something that we've known about since episode one. Literally, we know exactly what it is. Well, we know as much as all the characters know what it is because there's no mysteries to One for All to them. But at any rate, we're fully caught up with like as much knowledge as anyone has. So when he said that, I was like, man, I got chills. I went cr like, it was just like, that's the highest level of writing. It's just so dope. They see All Might running around, destroying buildings, destroying, changing the weather, doing insane stuff. Insane, it's All Might. He's like up there with a the Hulk, if not a little bit higher. But we know what's up. They don't. He's like, what's one for all? I said, oh man, they know how to get people hype on the show. They know how to get people hype. And that's why I gave this the rating that I'm about to tell in a second. And last but not least, I have to save this just for like a final point, the music. The thing about that, the thing about My Hero, in addition to all the other elements, the animation, the fights, the story, the mystery, all these things, the music is a key element of this show. When they were talking, the family was there and like it was building up to the crescendo of the episode and they started playing that, da, 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 that like that My Hero music, that on its own just gets you hyped. It gets you hype, man. Like, come on. It, it's so well done. You can bust down tears at any given moment in time. <clears throat> like, and y'all know, I watch these shows like early in the morning. Part of the reason I watch them is to get hype. And yeah, it, it did the job again. But shout out to the music, a key element of my hero. And it just, it blends in to what makes the show what it is. Room for improvement. Whew. I'm going to stop doing this at some point, but nothing. There's no single element that I can point to in this episode where I'm like, they should have done it differently or it's an error or they could have done it better. It's just great. Solid episode. My Hero is the only property that gets these passes. I can find something to improve upon in any series. You know, you can do a little bit better. Movies as well. Like, there's just so many moving parts. Um, you, can, you can see where things could have been done a little differently. My Hero? Nah, nah. No room for improvement, man. This episode is great. Crazy even. Just, man, stellar. The rating. Y'all ready for this? A nine out of five. A nine out of five. Bro. This ain't no normal show. This is the first time I've ever given a, a rating to anything that's in this far excess of the uh, standard scale. It's almost double, you know? So, but it deserves it. It was already getting a five out of five just because of the Dobby history. I was like, man, they snuck this in there and it's just crazy. Then it, then it started getting up to a 6 out of 5 when they showed up in the hospital room. I was like, oh, this is crazy too. Blah, blah, blah. When that man Hawks, Hawksu goes, what is one for us? I said, nah. They know what to do. It's a 9 out of 5. The show just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Again, I don't read the manga, so I know little tidbits about like kind of what's going on and, you know, different quirks. But like the actual story elements, what's actually happened, I have no clue. I'm watching the anime. Maybe start reading the manga. But the way the show is done is at the highest, most expert level. It's just crazy. I'm going to have to go back and revisit the, um, the All Might one for all fight, all for one fight, because I gave that episode a 7 out of 5. A 7 out of 5. And to me, that was like the highest you can go. I'm like, is this really better than the All Might one for all fight? A 9 out of 5? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch it. And maybe it'll get an 11 out of 5. I'm not sure. But this episode, based off of my knowledge and what I've experienced so far with the show, my rating system, gets a 9 out of 5. This isn't normal. This is some crazy type stuff. Of course, all the other elements of the whole episode were there. The animation had some action in there. Best little genius with the jokes. Bless you. 
the emotion, the music. It was all there. But when that man Hoxu looked at and Endeavor and said, Y'all need to put me up on something, man. What is one for all? I said, This show's on something else. It's just, it's somewhere far out there. So, yeah. First time I've ever given a rating this far excess of the scale for anything. For anything. So, this is way out there. It completely deserves it. It's, uh, yeah, man, this is my hero. It's his, this is something you gotta get on. Watch this show. Shout out to the creators, man. Y'all are, y'all out there flexing. That's what's up. Flex for Deku. All right. And that's it. That's it. Another review in the books. Another great episode of a great, of a, of a, of a timeless show, really. It's my hero. Yeah, man, check out my last review so you can see about the last episode, which is another great episode. The Hell is Chodoraki Family Part 2. They had, you know, Hawks' history snuck up in there. That was tight. It was dope. TDJ recommendations. Right now, I got you on Google Fi. Great cell phone service. In my opinion, it's the best cell phone service. Get on that. And Dislike, a cell phone game, which is actually really good. The graphics are just, they're just transcendent. I'm like, is this on a cell phone? But like, for real though, not sponsored by any of these, just stuff that I like, that I think y'all would like, that I actually think you should check out. So there we go. And that's it. That's it. Hey man, we flexing. Keep doing it big. That's standard. That's standard and that's basic. Keep doing it big. As I always say, stay up. Up. Never this direction in life. Never that. Always this direction. Always this direction. And until next time, which will be soon, peace.